What's up guys, this is Katsu Games and it's finally here. You know what I'm talking about. Four wheel drive physics in the Seto Corsa on the 11th of March. A great moment for rally drivers in the Seto Corsa. I cannot wait for all the mods to explode in the rally department. Of course, it's Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Ti. I'll post the link in the description which explains more about the car because I don't want to blab about it too long in the introduction. I'm using the track called Trento Bontone, it's an Italian track, it's 17.3 kilometers long, it's a hill climb, only one pit, it's a rally stage, apparently it's laser scan, it's officially released by Assetto Corsa, although in my opinion it feels like an unfinished mod because of the textures, but it's a, still a great track, I really enjoy driving on it, it's the first time, as in this is my first impression of the car, so I don't expect any good driving or any good times, I just really want to get into it and see what it's like, but just a quick heads up, I didn't use a gravel track, because most of the modded tracks with gravel surfaces are still not working with 1.1 a set of course but as soon as they are updated I'll stay on top of it and I'll make another video as soon as possible so I can showcase to you guys what the car feels like on gravel surface or maybe snow surface as well because I know there's a Monte Carlo track but anyway also one more quick heads up I am creating a Facebook group called the set of course rally if you're a fan of rallying in a set of course because I can imagine the community will explode right now in terms of rallying Make sure you join the group where we can all share pictures, videos, any ideas. We can all stay updated on any of the tracks, cars, all the mods, etc. And we can all create events together to rally against each other. So let's make this community awesome, guys. Without any further ado, let's just get into the track and see what the four wheel drive physics feel like. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is it Alpha 155 V6 Ti. Four wheel drive physics, finally in a set of Corsa. Let's check it out. I love the sound of the gear change. Guys, if you still haven't tried it, you should check it out. I've got my traction control set to zero percent. This feels just feels great. I cannot wait for people to start implementing four-wheel drive physics into rally cars and start creating a big, big modding community. Too much acceleration there. Still getting used to the car. But this car gets big ass thumbs up from the way it drives, the way it feels, the way it sounds, the way it looks. It's a sexy ass car guys. Absolutely love it. And the sound of that gear change. Mm -mm -mm. Very powerful car. If you're not careful and accelerate too much, it goes into oversteer during the corners. But that's fine. 
Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I really wish the gravel tracks and the snow tracks were working. I would love to give this a go on the gravel. Absolutely love to. But this car just... It eats these hat hill climbs. It completely murders them. It's not even a challenge. so much fun. This is so much fun. It's a pleasure to drive this crowd. Kilometer track. 
so I apologize if I make mistakes. It's quite late at night right now, but uh, it has to be done. It has to be recorded, guys. You need to see what this feels like, and then try it out yourself. I can imagine a modding department for set of course that will literally explode for rally. I know there's already a setup for rally cars. And I think the modders were literally just waiting for four wheel drive physics. So uh, hopefully we should be seeing a lot of them soon. A lot of gravel conversions from different games, like Rich Bend Rally, all those BTV tracks. Oh god damn it. It's gonna be amazing. The only thing this car lacks for me is the handbrake. For some reason my handbrake is not working. But I'll take that because it's a touring car. Therefore it doesn't have a handbrake. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. So much grip on this car. It's just, it's unbelievable. The difference between four wheel drive physics to just rear rear. Let me say that again. The difference between four wheel drive physics and rear drive or front drive is just. Whoa! Don't talk so much, Camille. I'm about to train on driving. But the difference is amazing. You try yourself. Wow. Just wow. Okay, let's just ignore that. took my eyes off the screen for a second. I apologize for all these guys. Am I going the right way? Is that the end? That was the end. So there we go guys. Alpha 155 V6 Ti. 
So as you guys just saw, there's not really much for me to talk about anymore. The car feels great, it gets my big thumbs up. I can't wait for people to start implementing the four-wheel drive physics into the modded cars and start modding all the tracks into gravel surfaces, snow surfaces and all of that. I can't wait for the rally department to just completely explode, which I know will happen, which I pray will happen. If you've got a chance to buy the DLC, I recommend it. I've tried the different cars as well, I'll be making videos on them as well. But I'm mainly going to concentrate on the rally aspect of Assetto Corsa. So I'm going to wrap it up now. So make sure if you enjoyed the video to click thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.